So what's new? What's been going on with you this summer? Man, I've really been kicking it, really. Uh, you know, spending time with family, my fiance, her family, doing a little bit of vacationing, you know, uh, recharging the batteries, uh, and then preparing for our daughter to be born. You know, she's uh, she's due August, August 3rd, so just been getting ready for that, man. What have you thought about this process? Man, it's been crazy. You know, um, COVID-19 really did a number on the basketball world, man. You know, there's teams that can't afford to, 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 to even play. There's other teams self-relegating themselves. And there's other teams who um, budgets have decreased significantly, man. Like, it's fucking crazy. Like, who would have ever thought that this would be the case? What did you expect? Because we've seen 30-foot billboards. We've seen teams clear out all kinds of cap space. Uh, we have seen cartoons made about you and for you in part of their pitch. President Obama, for crying out loud, seven times has commented that he'd like to see you go to Chicago. What did you expect from this process? First things first, I just want to say, my president will always be black. My Lambo too. I love you, big O. You my guy. But them niggas on the south side be tripping, and ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Secondly, I can't even hold you. Them cartoons were sweet as fuck. <laughs> like them shits was hard. Don't lie. You know they were. How many people know your decision right now? To be honest, not many people at all, man. Not many people at all. I can pretty much count on one hand how many people uh, know. So does the team that you're going to, that you'll announce in a few minutes, do they know your decision? Yeah, man, of course they know. It's, a, it's pretty much a done deal, uh, to be honest. Like, uh, it's not even pretty much a done deal. It is a done deal. So, of course, they know. Who in this process, LeBron, have you taken advice from, and who has had the biggest influence? There really is few people in this world who opinions really matter to me. Um, you know, one being my mom, my brother, uh, my grandparents, and uh, but as of now, the only person I really consulted uh, with about this decision is my wife because uh, her and our future child are the only people who really matter, or the people who matter most to me. So, uh, with you know what they got to say about the decision is the only thing that really matters right now. So those are the only people I've talked to about uh, this decision. What was the major factor? the major reason in your decision? So being as close to home as I possibly could uh, was number one. Um, and number two was uh, just being myself again on the court. You know, I'm a, uh, a team uh, from a coaching standpoint who has you know, confidence in me as a player and is gonna allow me to be myself and not gonna you know, hinder me from, from playing the way and uh, contribute, contributing to the team the way that uh, I know I can and they know I can. But um, anybody who knows me knows that family is always gonna come first. And I wanna be able to watch my daughter grow, so. Would you like to sleep on it a little longer? Or are you ready to make this decision? No, my guy, I'm, uh, I'm ready to let the world know what my next move is. Uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting to hear it, so we might as well get to it, man. You still a nail biter? Man, what type of weird-ass question is that? No, you better not be on no weird-ass fetish shit, man. Keezy don't play that shit. I, I smack you on national television, all right? But uh, between me and you, from time to time, you know, I still do. Why? Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. Keezy, what's your decision? This fall... I'll be taking my talents to the seaside and joining Trieste, the red and white. Why? Pretty much, man, like I said, uh, I need to go somewhere where I can be myself again. And uh, Trieste and their coaching staff have uh, showed the utmost confidence in uh, me and a player and um, what I can bring to their team. So, you know, that's a big, a big factor. And then on top of that, um, I'm still in Italy. I'm not too far from home. Um, I'm a train ride or a car ride away from home. Um, and I can see my family um, a lot more than if I was to 
venture outside of Italy and go to another country and play. So um, that was pretty much the basis of my decision, man. And, um, you know, COVID made things a little bit weird, you know, in terms of um, the weight and waiting for people's budgets to come out and them knowing what they were going to be able to do and, and the type of players they wanted. And um, it stretched it out a little bit longer than I would like, than I, than I would have liked to. Um, but it is what it is. So that's where we're going with it, man. Um, be joining Chad Stay. I'm excited. Keezy, appreciate it. Thanks so much. There's going to be an awful lot more with you coming up here on ESPN.